Then there's red apple cigarettes. What about them? They don't exist, except in his movies. Well, what about Jackie Brown? That has no connection to anything else. Yeah, but that's an Elmore Leonard adaptation. It's not one of his original scripts. So what you're saying is that anything he writes has a connection to everything else he writes? Kind of, yeah. He's building a universe. And in a way, Jackie Brown fits into that, too. How? Violence. Not just violence, like, hyper-violence. In his world, insanely violent solutions actually work. Oh, well, that works in real life, too. Not necessarily. There are limitations to what you can do in real life. This isn't working. Ah, uh, step back. There, I just used violence to solve a problem. Man, that's not violence, that's muscle. Brute force is not the same as violence. Well, effective violence requires brute force. You're still assuming that you need violence in the first place. So what do you propose? Delicate violence? Poisoners? Snipers? Uh, diplomacy? Ugh. How about just the threat of violence? You reserve it for when it's absolutely necessary. Oh, it's always necessary. That's exactly what my rabbi said. He's a very wise man. That's not the point. Most situations don't require it. I always do. Why is brutality always your first impulse? Listen, it's not always my first impulse. Sometimes I like to think deep. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't think to bring enough bullets. We didn't need that many. I'm just saying, planning an organization can be just as important. Yeah, you may have a point there, my friend. Let's go get paid. Fuck yeah.